I, I think we're live. I, I don't know. Peter, d don't swear, okay? <laughs> we, we, we gotta not swear for five minutes. <laughs> well, you can go frick yourself. <laughs> uh, right, right. This is the file. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, um... Last time, we, we tried to, um... <laughs> <laughs> we tried to go through the Underdark. That was a bad idea. This time, maybe we can go through the area where the game says don't go this way, and maybe it will be less of a bad idea. Yeah, who knows, who knows, who knows. Who knows, really? Yeah, this is crazy. It could don't be anything. So, um, I finally tried the above ground path in my own playthrough, and it was as nuts as I was expecting, but still kinda nuts. So, Peter, I don't know if you can physically do it, but we could give it a try, you know? Yes. We're like, it's your call, it yeah. Um, I might say we could try. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe, like, what could possibly even be, like, weighing for us? If nothing else, at least you'll know and you can, like, be prepared, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 right, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, yep, yeah, that's the game. Yay. Right, I should turn something off because, um... I turn detail distance to medium, and that's gonna make the game uh, run a bit worse. So yeah, another thing last episode, um, Will died in one of the dumbest ways possible. <laughs> oh yeah, he died in the one way where we couldn't resurrect him, and it just turned into like, well, I, I guess we have to do this now. Right, I think this is where yeah. the entrance was, so we need to be, uh... Uh, which is closer? The, yeah, this is probably, like, no big deal. Yeah. And then... Yeah. I ignored obvious warnings. Right. <laughs> <laughs> which La resulted in us having to mercy kill fucking Mysterion so we can get the stupid-ass mask off of him. Hey, well, if we ignored obvious warnings, but we did even harder, and we did it better this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, I can't stop me, because I can't read. Yeah. Just look at the side, it's like, it's a good thing I can't read. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Listen, Peter, uh, what do you think we're gonna, like, meet in the upper, in, like, the above ground path, you know? Hmm, I do not know. Like, how, how crazy do you think this is gonna be? Actually, I should probably check to make sure, uh, what level are we? Yeah, level four. Th oh, right, yeah, they're multi-class, I forgot, yeah. So yeah, everyone's like level four then. I've got a long road ahead. Right. Okay. So um, I I tried the above ground path for the first time on my playthrough at level four, and I was able to do it. So I, you might be able to do it too. I don't know. It's worth knowing I also had characters that can um make this fight way easier. It'll be really difficult, but will it be impossible? Who knows? <laughs> Listen, if nothing else, it's probably gonna be easier than the underground. Cause holy crap. But there's also mm -hmm. fun stuff underground, yo. But there's fun stuff above ground too. But yeah, I ultimately want you to have, like, the final say on, like, all the stuff right now, you know? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so, um, 
Hey, hey, which which way? <laughs> we we got it split, split in the road. And I think they just ooh. Hel hello. Just there. A well, point. probably a good thing we came this way then. <laughs> Cause yep. there's a waypoint. <laughs> Yay. So hey, what do you wanna do? What is this creature that's just standing over there? <laughs> yeah, well, what the fuck are you? An impressive feat given the visitor lodged. Oh, no good. <laughs> yeah, you, you remember her? Cure in their crash, which I believe to be near. It's time you lend me your skills. Together, we can finally be cleansed. It's a boom wall, but do you, do you remember? Th th think way back, Peter. Think way, way back. Um, I'm trying to remember who she is. is... Y you want me to tell you? Yeah, I I'm drawing a blank here. Um, uh, remember when we were on the like the mind flare ship? Oh, is she the fucking ogre lady we saved? Yeah, yeah, she she was there and she helped us escape. She like fought with us and the ship crashed and we just lost contact with her. We got split up. Oh, good to see you again. <laughs> yeah. So um she's a gith. Um, it's a bit complicated. Basically she's like part alien, like the mind flares. Oh, yeah, the, they're, like, part alien, and they also have mind powers, and they, like, hate the mind flares more than anything, and they're, like, freaking warriors, and that's their that's their deal. They're, they're warriors, and they really, really hate mind flares. Yeah. Yeah, so, um... Yo and the area you start, like, outside the grove, uh, yeah. If you would, different direction, you could've just found her. <laughs> like, if you just went right and stuff left, you would've found her, like, trapped in a fucking cave by, like, some tieflings, and you could, like, save her and she'd join you then. Ah, uh, but then we went and gotten a cool-ass hysteria. Yeah, that's true. I uh, didn't get them both. I, I feel like normally most people do, <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, uh. yeah. So yeah, do you do you all like just ask her like, what's the was that here you mentioned? What's a crash? Let's group up and go to the crash. Or yeah, I'm pursuing our means. I don't, I don't really like want anything to do with this. Yeah, what's a crush exactly? It is Good question. Things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusta for purification. One is close at hand, nestled here in this pass, quite possibly. So yeah, basically she's like, there is a Gith military base where they like, hatch, train, and like, school people to be warriors. And she's oh. like, yeah, we should go there and maybe they can heal us. I mean, I'm down to investigate. I mean, I'm down to see what that's about. <laughs> yeah, let, yeah, let's, let's check this crush out. You'll need to make room. So, uh, do you want to switch someone out for Lizelle? I will say she is a straight up fighter. She she is a straight up like pure fighter. She is like exactly what she seems to be. Although keep in mind with all these characters you can always like, you know, have withers like change their class, which apparently also lets you just like freely adjust their stats, so there's really no downside. Yeah, anyone can be anything, it turns out. That's cool. Um, let me keep Asterion in our group. <laughs> I... Will, <laughs> Will, it's been fun, but I think it's time for you to go on the bench, man. Yeah, that's fair. 
Because, like, Will's good as a support caster, but he, he's not doing, like, the, the most. But, you know, hanging our fighter can't hurt. Hanging our person yeah. just, like, be a body that just, like, stands in the way of enemies is always good. I know a shortcut. There you go. Well chosen. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such oh, virtue. Cool. Oh, Karlak approves. Okay. Onward. Our purification is at hand. So now you get to decide the difficult question. Uh, Indolence breeds madness. <laughs> what kind of fighter do you want her to be? I'm gonna leave this up to you because, like, so we can we have monster. like all these really strong, big, two-handed, like, heavy weapons that can deal big damage. But we can also just give her a shield, and she can be, like, a knight and have, like, really high AC. Mm. Like, as you didn't have, like, Noah's right now, her AC is, like, 15 plus 1. Yeah, so it's, like, we can easily bump that up one. So we can have her at, like, 17 AC just casually. Yeah. And we, like, put on the shield, and she's going to be at, like, 19, which is kind of nutty. Huh? Yeah. These things have stayed interesting. So she can be really, really defensive, or um, you can make her a heavy weapon fighter, and she can just hit things really, really hard. I wouldn't be, da I wouldn't be down for either of those, really, but, like, it seems like the longsword she has does pretty decent damage. Yeah, this Delicious is 413, and this would boost it to 5 to 16. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, let's... Yeah, you know what? Give her the axe. Yeah. So just big damage? Yeah. Okay, and now difficult decision time. Oh, she's leveled up. Yeah, because she's like, she's a new party member, and party members cash share experience. So, um, you get four levels to work with. Oh, shit. <laughs> are, are you ready to make some decisions? Oh, boy, I did not think I was having to make this when I brought in a new character. <laughs> yeah, so we, we have, like, fine styles that give her, like, bosses when she has a shield up. So this is literally the tank fighting style protection. Yeah, if there's an ally that's, like, right next to her and she is a shield, then, like, they have to attack her or they have disadvantage. <laughs> well, here's the thing. The only decent shield we have is with Will currently. True, but you will be getting more shields. That's actually not that hard to, you know, grab a hold of. Yeah, and also just make her deal way harder damage. Just be like, hey, if you roll war two with for like damage on like a two hand weapon, you re-roll. So it's just like more damage overall. Or you could also make it that it's like, you know, she's better at like one handed weapons, it just deals more damage. You yeah, can make it so her natural defense is better, which I'm gonna be real, that's not bad at all, considering, um, yeah, she's not gonna be using a shield. Or you can make her better at ranged damage, which, honestly, you probably don't need, but hey, it's a thing. Or hey, you like dual wielding? She can be dual wielding. <laughs> she can swing two weapons every single turn and just, like, do multi-attacks. I think the whole, like, I know we don't have a shield for her currently. Yeah. But I like the whole sound of, like, oh, yeah, if some, if a party member is next to her, they have to attack her first. Yeah. Her. Like, I it doesn't hard good. force them, but it incentivizes them, right? So they'll do it. Yeah. If nothing else, it makes it harder for them to, like, kill people who are next to her. Yeah. So yeah, you're Which feeling is... this, and then like switch to a shield when we get to one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's, so that's fighters good. are just generally freaking good. There are no bad options here. 
Okay. So, um, hey, which subclass are you feeling? So, champion's damage, I guess. Yeah, champion is just straight up like, hey, you crit if you roll a 19 or a 20. So, yeah, your crit weight just, like, doubles, like, immediately. It's like, you want to be more accurate slightly and just, like, do more damage? This is the one. Yeah. Just no strings attached, it's just good. Eldritch Knight is, like, it's your, like, freaking, um, red mage, like, build. It's like, yo, yeah, you get some spells, you get some cantrips, you get some utility, you know, which honestly could be pretty useful, but you're mainly still gonna be, like, smacking dudes, right? Yeah. And Battlemaster is my favorite one because here's how this works, okay? You you get four points and you can just spend them to do unique actions. And what they are is, like, you just pick them from a list. So, um, you can do attacks that can, like, you know, disarm people. Or you can, like, you know, do attacks that allow you to, like, tell someone to move and they, like, move five feet or something. Or, you know... You can, like, make people afraid, or, like, yo, you can, like, automatically parry if they, like, try and attack you and they miss, you know? You you get a lot of really fun, really cool shit, right? Yeah. But, hey, if you just want simple and effective champions the way to go, honestly, I'd suggest champion or battlemaster based on, like, how fancy you want to be. Um, I think we'll go with, uh, then we'll go with Battlemaster. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, we have a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. So, all of these are basically like, oh, you do an attack, and then you roll a dice, and you add it to the damage, and you do an effect, you know? So, it's like, you knock them over. This hits multiple enemies, like, in front of you. So, if there's two enemies in front of you, you can hit both of them at once. This is, like, a counter straight up, and it's pretty damn good. So, like, hey, imagine you have your shield, someone comes at you, they have to swing at you, they swing and miss, and then you get a free attack on them. Ooh, that sounds really good. Yeah. We got, uh... Yeah, we can just give people temporary hit points, which is, like, it, it's essentially a heal, more or less. For all, for all intents and purposes, it's a heal. Yeah. Push and attack you and push them away. This is, like, if someone's really hard to hit, you can just burn one of your points, and, yeah, your attack is more accurate, and you'll probably fuck them up. You can, like, scare people, which makes them, like, run away and, you know, they're, like, weaker and stuff for a bit. You can, like, you know, use one of your points to, like, make a friendly creature get more movement speed and make them, like, move around for, like, tactical stuff, which is cool. Yeah. This one is, like, interesting. So, you deal more damage because all of these get more damage. And yeah, if your target tries to hit anyone else, whether you, like, hit them or not, they get disadvantage. So, hey, say you, like, attack an archer, even if they try to, like, you know, run away or, like, shoot someone other than you, like, or if they try to, like, you know, use a ranged weapon or something, like, or, like, a rep with a reach, yeah, they'll still get disadvantage, so that might be something you're into. Uh, this just gives you advantage, which is really nice. Freaking, yeah, you have attacks by imposing disadvantage on melee attacks and you. So yeah, this just makes it so that, like, if someone's next to you, they're hard to hit, and it also makes you hard to hit for a turn. <laughs> so they can't attack your ally, or they'll have disadvantage, and they also can't attack you, or they'll also have disadvantage. Ooh, that sounds kind of... that actually sounds really useful. I think I might go with that. Yeah, we'd pick, like, three of these, so we didn't go for, like, a few. This makes it so it's, like, our next attack on the guy has, like, advantage, which is nice, you and yo. 
like, hey, say you have, like, a rogue next to you and they don't have, like, the room to hide and stuff. Yeah, you can just give them advantage, which means they're, like, guaranteed to have advantage on, like, sneak attack, even if they're, like, you know, like, right next to you and everything. Disarring yes. attack is... Disarring attack is exactly what it seems like. You hit them, and if they fail a roll, they drop their weapon. And then you just pick it up, Ooh. and now they have to fight unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> You become that, like, that freaking, like, yo, know, the, the bullshit, like, freaking, like, sword master where it's like, yo, know, oh, you're sword fighting a dude and you just casually slap the sword out of their hand and, like, point your blade at them. It's like, eh, oh, what yeah. now? Yeah, what now, bitch? And, uh, yeah, distract your uh, strike a foe, the all using reaction. Okay, yeah, this might be pretty cool, actually. Cause, um, yeah, this just lets your ally get a free attack in. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Yeah, I definitely should take that. Yeah. Uh, does it... Yeah, it doesn't say melee weapon attack, it can be ranged. That's really good. And we've got one more, uh... I'm gonna be honest, I'd post for, like, repost. Repost is really fun. But there's also all yeah, these other could. fun things. Yeah. I guess we could take repost, yeah. Yeah, your call. Yeah, I think repost might be the best bet. Yeah, so it's like, oh, they try to attack you. Uh, if they fail, then like, oh, guess what? Yeah. Oh, you also, because of gifts, you can just jump good now. Yay. And now's and the real here. hard one. Because, um, we have all these feats, and you can also just make yourself stronger. So here's the thing, we've got some uneven stats going on. Um, oh, yeah, we definitely do. <laughs> yeah, you can, like, take a ability score improvement, and you can just get, like, better strength just immediately, so your stuff is, like, yo, more accurate and, like, hits harder. And also better, like, points in, like, either dexterity or constitution. So you can either make your armor, like, even better and make yourself even dodgier, or you can just get, like, free hit points and just have, like, more survivability. Which... I'm honestly not a bad idea, given the circumstance. You can also get, like... Actually, no, that's, uh... What's, like, the freaking skill that's, like... It just makes you have a shitload of HP? Is it tough? Yeah, I think it's tough, yeah. You can also just get tough, and that also makes it so that it's, like... Yeah, you just have a shitload more HP. Or, honestly, this is probably a good one. Hey, wanna get Sentinel? Ooh. So when an enemy within melee range attacks an ally, you can use your reaction to attack the target. So oh, hey, sure. say they have a like, disadvantage and they still try to kill Asterion, uh, you can punish them for that and you just smack them. Oh hell yeah. You also get advantage opportunity attack, so so they can't run away from you as easily or you'll smack them extra hard. And also, when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, it no longer move, which is the real good thing. So, you can, like, reroll, like, abilities for this if you want. You can, like, just reclass your character after a while. But there is a fun combo you can do late game. Where, um, there's a skill called Polar Master, right? And it makes it so it's like, whenever an enemy, like, tries to approach you and you're wielding, like, a halberd, then you can make an opportunity attack and you can just, like, you know, hit him. If you have that and Sentinel, then you can make it so it's like, if they run at you, you, like, hit them and then they can't move. And then, like, you know, you, like, move back a little bit and they try and run at you again and you hit them and they can't move. And you can just keep That's doing that. Good. Not exactly great for this build, but hey, you know, something to consider. Lucky's always good. Uh, freaking. 
Yeah, so there's a lot of, like, good shit here. I don't know. Are any of these options really, like, speaking to you right now? Because we could well, just, we could just better. make her better, but also, like, we could do interesting shit. Um, I think, um... I think Sentinel would be really good. Okay, yeah. Sentinel is really freaking good. Yeah, if they're new things attacks, I can do the thing. Uh, advantage opportunity attacks, and it keeps them from moving. Yeah. Sentinel just does a lot of good shit, and all of it's like stuff you'd want to do. Especially on such a freaking, like, ranger focused team. So, um, we have two paths in front of us. One leads forward, and the other one leads to the crash. Which do we go down? Never a dull moment. Um, let's go down the other way before we go to the crash. Okay, yeah. So, um... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we, we fight and let's go. I'm gonna be real, I probably should have saved just in case, cause I have no idea how this is gonna go down. The fuck are those things? <laughs> so, um, these are ghouls. Oh, that's oh, Dash, that's not... Damn it, oh well. Yeah. Yeah, we got some ghouls, some ghouls, ghouls, and a Death Shepherd! I'm assuming the Death Shepherd can probably keep reviving the ghouls, so we should probably kill him. Yeah, you are completely correct on that. Yeah, these guys need to go down, like, immediately, or they'll just keep reviving yeah. everyone else. <laughs> yeah, we just casually walks through the mountain. It's like, how bad could it be? You look over, there's fucking Mr. X. <laughs> It's like, hey, you'll fight Nemesis? <laughs> Honestly, we probably should have good her shield, but that's fine. Yeah, we'll get one. Yeah. Let's find some prey. Hopefully, Carlac does well in her first fight. Is there any way to, uh, eh, mm. Yeah, okay, might as well just shoot some dudes. Yeah. That did way more damage than I was expecting, holy crap. Yeah, I kind of expected that, like, we should probably clear the way a bit, because... Yeah, I had a feeling <laughs> that they were playing with the form of goddamn wall in front of us. <laughs> So, yeah, we should, um, probably be ready to deal with some bullshit. <laughs> Absolute power, uh, yeah, we can save this, actually. That's fine. Which one do we hit? This one? Yeah, we can just take this guy out, no problem. Eat it. Yeah. And now they have to use a turn to revive him. And, uh, really either of these guys is fine. You know what, our guys are kind of, like, to the left. We should probably, you know, yeah, be, like, more in this direction. There we go. So, um, here's the fun part about fighters. We get action surge. So this means that you can just attack again. Oh boy. <clears throat> ah, well, it's so cool if that actually killed him. Yeah, that would have been. <sighs> if yes, that killed. Yeah. Let's we'll say yes, come closer, you idiots. <laughs> if that just killed him, then you could have, like, used her to, like, run next to the other guy and just, you know? Uh, 
Yeah, let's just try and snipe the Death Shepherd then. And that seems... I feel like they've got our control for now. Make sure we're like a bit out of the way. Uh, yeah, maybe a bit more out of the way, actually. Yeah, that's a big reason why I kind of want to jump my one or new party member to be like, to have that shield ability. It's so that like, when we move up with like a Sterian or Anderson, we have someone to hide behind. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Anderson is quite the squishy motherfucker. I will say that. Yeah. Roll rage damage twice and take the highest result. Ooh, that sounds nice. Ooh. So, hey, if we shoot him... Ooh. Yeah, we, we did a fair amount of damage. I'll just get Asteria in a back, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is the one thing, is that they do have Stinky Cloud, and now that we are Stinky, we cannot attack. Oh boy, oh, that's fun. But we can turn into a fucking wolf! Oh, hey, Lizelle can attack, though. Awesome. So we can at least, like, take this dude out. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's take out another one of the ghouls here. Actually, do we have, um... Attack multiple targets, but become off-balanced. Ooh. Yeah, we can hit both of them, it seems. But we will be off balance and will, like, be easier to hit. But maybe we could kill. Yeah, we can definitely get some kills off of that. I won't be taking that risk. Oh. Oh, never mind. It's just the one. It didn't hit the... Oh. Aw. That's a shame. It should have hit both. Uh, you want to use evasive footwork? Um, I say yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we are off balance, but we are also like evasive, so it evens out. We have negated every single downside of this ability. Oh, you. I was about to say, once that stink cloud wakes up, dude, you are saying you're the wrong person. <laughs> oh, that stink cloud's not wearing off for a bit. That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, we. Hurt. Of uh, course, our swing with fighter gets him with the fucking ability. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, we did just do big fat damage, so that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of bad. Oh no. Cutting action, hide, okay. Maybe, maybe we just take him out, though. Yeah. Uh, so it's worth knowing these guys can revive each other, which is kind of a problem, so, um... That's something to be worried about. But I think we can do it. I think we got this. So here's the unfortunate thing. Uh, we are still in the sink cloud. Here's the fortunate thing, though. Um... If we jump, then they'll do a bunch of opportunity attacks, but every single one of them will have disadvantage. That's good. So we can get out of the stink cloud, maybe. Yeah, let's get out of this bitch. <laughs> Sentinel? Okay, okay, sure. Damn it, if only that worked, that would have been really cool. Uh-oh. 
Oh, she's like paralyzed. Oh. Oh no. Well, that's a problem. Oh, cool. And there's just a gang of motherfuckers surrounding her. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's. Maybe we'd take some dudes out. Let's make this a bit less of a problem. Yeah. At least she's not in the stink cloud. Yeah. Alright, he's reviving people. That's fine. Yeah. That's not fine, but at least she's very durable because ammo form. Yeah. Okay, let's... As long as they're just up there and we can just get free shots of them, like, yeah, this, this just kind of works. Yeah. I mean, at least get this guy's health down a bit and then uh, start taking out the other one. Yeah. If only done up so much of it. Yeah. yeah, we just need everyone else to survive for a second as we just kind of, you know... Twenty-two. This is like six. Uh, no, we should start working on the R1 so we can try and take them both out at the same time. I think. Wow, only six. That's uh, that's nothing. Holy crap. Oh, this is about to get real ugly. Oh no. Well, at least we had no. hit this guy and do stuff. But, uh, fuck. Yeah. Worth knowing, we do have the, uh. Wait, did we take Commander's Strike? Yeah, okay. But they. Wait, they used the reaction. Oh, so we can get them to attack, actually. That'd be pretty useful, I think. Wait, no, they're paralyzed. They can't. Yeah. Okay. So what do we have? We have uh, this, this. Honestly, yeah, I think just do damage. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, that's all damage. So the one problem with this, like, group right now is we don't have a source of consistent healing. Yeah. Your soul is in good hands. And we did a lot. Is... Yeah, it's gonna be a problem real fast. Yeah. At least one of the death strikes is almost dead. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we can just take them back, like, both out, like, just back to back and just, you know, like, pop, pop. So they, they fucking ate Carlac. No. <laughs> Shit. Was... It's fine, we're, we're doing damage. We're, we're surviving. Oh, heck yeah, let's go. Good job. Yeah, Lizelle's being a freaking champ right now. Jeez. Yeah. One of them's also dead, and we just, uh. Damn it. I'm too dark. Crap. Okay. Well, at least we can try and get shots at him. Okay, fuck. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, this oh, is really fucking me. bad. Oh, please don't tell me she's also gonna die in her first fight here. <laughs> yeah, we really should have just put a shield on our holy crap. 
I mean, we just revived people, but, uh, jeez. Yeah, this is, this is a shit show. The, yeah. Uh. Crap, okay. So here's the plus side of this. Um. They, they can only hit us with melee attacks. So if we run really, really hard, we might be able to just outpace them for a bit. Never mind, we... Well, we didn't, like, disengage, but yeah. Uh... Wow, we couldn't even kill that one, huh? Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I, I think we're screwed, Peter. I, I don't think we got this. Yeah. Yeah, they're just gonna chase us down, and yeah, it's it's over. Hey, Baron. Was... Yeah, going this summer. My big fat Greek damage, starring Chris Pratt as Garfield. <laughs> yeah, we're fucked here. And Chris Pratt is Mario. <laughs> and Chris Pratt is the brave little toaster. <laughs> wow, really? Okay. Light on my feet. And Chris Pratt is Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> yeah. Parappa the Prapper. <laughs> 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 Hey, Asterion, can you sort of, uh... <laughs> no? Okay, there we go. Yeah, just bugged out a little bit. Hey, Asterion, can you just, uh... Well, one of them's dead. I think the Garfield Chris Pratt role is the funniest shit. Because it's like everyone was literally already making the joke of like Chris Pratt is in everything. What the fuck is this? Why is he everywhere? And then that got announced. And it's like, are you serious? Like, what? You, what? Did, did you want Phil Murray to come back? You fucking hated playing Garfield in the fucking live action movie. Yeah, that's what makes it great. <laughs> Listen, Garfield should always be played with a man with, like, just unbelievable self loathing for the character. Can you imagine if, like, Bill Murray got that phone call? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we're as far away from them as physically possible. If they catch up, we're screwed. And they're they're gonna catch up, and we're we will be screwed. Like we can have our character fleet combat and revive everyone if you want, and there'll be less people to fight next time, you know. That's true, but um, I think if yeah yeah we're fucked in this fight. <laughs> Yeah, just, just, like, go out fine and call it a wash. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, at least you went down like a champ Asterion. At least you went down doing yeah. what you love. Stabbing people in the yeah. face. Yes. Like, really just, we, we, yeah, there's not even really any point, like, attacking at this point. We, we just, you know. We, we just don't gotta. We, we don't gotta. So I will say that being these guys is actually super worth it. 
because, uh, yeah, like, the guys they're eating have a bunch of, um, pretty good, like, armor and stuff. Like, they are proper knights. They don't have, like, medium armor. They have, like, proper, like, straight up, like, plate mail. They have, like, actual heavy armor. And yeah, that probably actually would boost uh, Blazelle's, like, armor class a little bit. Yeah, that would be useful. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm just waiting. Just do your thing, you know? Yeah, just hurry the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we leave, it'll autosave. We just, we have to let this play out. There's no other way. Yeah. Man, our rogues are like beefy effing boys. Yeah. Yeah, come on, come over here. There's room for everyone. Oh, he's paralyzed, it's over. Yep. Uh so, um, hopefully it's saved after we met Lizelle. Hopefully it did. But yeah, we'll probably have to level up again. I'll just, you know, hit what you want and we'll just, yeah, it's, it's no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how are you felt the man pass right now? Like, that was working really well until it wasn't, you know? Like, if we used second win, yeah, we probably could have made that good. work. Yeah, like... <clears throat> yeah. So, course of action B. Asterion, you're off the team for now. Asterion, you're <laughs> yeah. off the team. <laughs> I, li I, I like you a lot, Asterion. I like you a lot, but, um... <laughs> oh, wow, all the way back here, huh? Okay... Hey, how close are we to are we oh? Dead? I was gonna say, are we Okay. Let's explore this area more. <laughs> oh, just the that area not get Lizelle? Wait, can we come back to this area? Oh or yeah, absolutely yeah, you'd back. absolutely come back, yeah. Yeah. Let's go get Lizelle from this area and we'll come back and do more exploration here. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna be super real. We really don't need a Asterion right now. Yeah, like, I it's... got rid of Will because, like, oh yeah, it would be good to have a second ranged fighter. Like, have, like, a second ranged motherfucker in this group. Yeah. I very slowly learned, I very quickly learned that that was a stupid idea because then I forgot, like, oh sh I would, like, oh wait a minute, Will, Will has all of our support skills. Fuck. Yeah, Will is the healer of the group. He's the one that keeps us alive. <laughs> Will's the one who saves us when shit goes south, you know? Yes, that is very true. And that's the reason why I was thinking, like, wait, crap. It's fun to have a Sterian for more damage, but, uh, yeah, we probably should have a healer. Just for practical reasons. <laughs> Also, we now have a shield we can give Lizelle, so she's not just completely, like... <laughs> That's the thing, if she could impose disadvantage on them, then they would really fucking struggle to take out Carlac, you know? Oh, hell yeah. Like, all those extra hit points, and also they have disadvantage? That would be such a different situation. Yeah, that is very true. In regards to, like, all of that, things be pretty good. Like, like I said, once I realized, like, wait a minute, I'm forgetting that you Will has good shit. Damn it. Sword coast have a cure. It is Gekian. One is close at hand. The crush is gusted. So says my queen's teachers. Yeah, let's get <laughs> The party's full. You'll need to make oh, okay, Asterion. Object, but sitting by the fire while you do all the hard work sounds marvelous, actually. <laughs> Damn, okay. 
Our victory is most certain. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Onward. <laughs> Man, Karlak feels like she's so easy to please in this game. You just, just don't be a scumbag. And she's like, yeah, good on ya. And honestly, those are my favorite things to do. Like, uh, the, honestly, I like your stories. It includes, like, yeah, don't be a don't be a douchebag. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can also multi-class uh, Lizelle if you want. I'm gonna be real. A fighter without multi-classing is already really good. Oh yeah. So what yeah, what we have? Good. We have like commanding strike. Uh, Evasive yeah, footwork and repost, yeah. Yeah. And the uh, Sentinel was really freaking good because they kept trying to go for the other character and we kept looking at them and being like, no, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Like, imagine her doing this while, like, you know, we have, like, her next to a freaking, um, a freaking rogue, you know, or will. Wait. Yeah. These markings. Tiersu script scratched in the ground. Oh. A crash must be nested in the temple below. Oh, dang. Okay. We must go there at once. Oh. <laughs> she really wants to go to the temple. Okay. You can go there. Okay, yeah. Let, let's Very go to the crash. You may lead. But if we stray yeah, too let's go far, the crash, yeah. our chance is lost. I'll make my way there alone. Yeah, she we really, really the... wants to go there. Let's, uh, yeah, let's activate that. Uh, yeah, and sure. Deck save plus one. Mod. Yeah, you want to hide the helmet. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, we, we don't have any cloaks or anything. Uh, do we have any cool boots? Uh, yeah, what are this? Uh, yeah, nothing really special. This is... Hit with a weapon attack, possibly inflict a penalty to target's attack rolls and setting throws. That's really nice, actually. That's really fitting, immediately. No real extra rings. Uh, resistance to slash. Ooh, but vulnerability to bludgeoning. But resistance to slashing. That might be useful. Anna, what do you think? Ooh. Well, the thing is, though, she's going to be using a shield, then, uh. Yeah, but anyone with a sword or an axe is going to do half damage, like, all the time. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That, that is good. But anyone with, like, a hammer or that's unarmed is gonna do double damage. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, uh... what's the call? Well... Because those ghouls slash at you, so you, we'd be, like, resistant to every single thing they do. Yeah, that's true. I'm I'm going real. I don't see that many enemies doing like bludgeoning damage. Yeah, you know, what? no, we'll take it. We, we can like uh, equip it if it becomes a problem. Yeah. Mm. And hey, which weapon do we want? Well, we got this. <laughs> we we got the the special hammer we stole from Minthara. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. And we got a shield we can use now. Oh, hell yeah. Get Gabe, are you, get, you gonna, like, oh, we have to... Yeah, there we go. Yes. So we can try to fight... Wait, what's this? Is this a... Uh... Oh, this is two-handed. All right, never mind. Sword of Justice is pretty sick, though. Right, we could also give her the big special sword, since it is versatile, but hey, that's your call. 
Yeah. We could go the big special sword, and um, yeah, I think this is actually like more damage. Oh, when we'll do it with both hands. All right, never mind. That's a different like yeah. So it's one d six or one d eight. Yeah, this is just be like more damage. This is just better. You wanna Ooh. do it? Yeah. So this is 5 to 12, and this is uh, 5 to 10. Yeah, it's just straight up better. Yeah. We should also make sure the... Yeah, let's, like, switch this off of your... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you need a dagger. You, you need daggers now. Yeah. Uh, who's using this? This is like, well, this is, uh, oh, we're not proficient with shields anyways. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was very, <laughs> very true. <laughs> you, you want off-handed fucking salami? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a hilarious train thought but no no okay <laughs> the goofy thing is that actually be one of those effective things you can do in this scenario <laughs> <laughs> helmet uh, whatever okay yeah we should be good let's save in case I'm an idiot again yeah, we can try and fight those, like, ghouls now, and we can probably wreck them, or we can just go straight to the crash. Um, let's go to the crash. Let's see what's going on there. Yeah, just don't want to risk it again. Yes. <laughs> I warn you. I oh, hey, there's a person here. Want to talk to them? Yeah, let's speak to them. <laughs> hey, what's your deal, Lady Esther? <sighs> A friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Damn. Over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? <laughs> yeah, the the temple. Yeah, it looks like a temple. A uh, sure, Earl lady, I'm busy. What do you want? <laughs> Yeah, that looks like a temple. Yeah, the... Yeah. It certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Oh, they're brutish rude, huh? By your wretched standards. But stupid. <laughs> Chucky. Your charming companion <laughs> would call it a crash. But it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderer. So, um, I met this character for the first time last night. And I'm gonna be real, I didn't have Lazal in the party, so she's gonna say some crazy shit. Attacked and run off like some transient. So, um, she's trying to steal one of their children, one of the kids of Lazelle's people. Um, we don't take too kindly to kidnappings. <laughs> yeah, you tried to buy one of their children? <laughs> you know, why yeah, would you want one of their eggs? Yeah, why would you? The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their robe so they can incubate it, and once it hatches... Raise the spawn in their tradition. So you must uh, steal Please, a baby and indoctrinate it. What is this yes. tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. Damn, she is just directly racist to her face, huh? 
It's this fuck lady. Thoughts is taught non inherited. You don't need to steal a child to know that. Or some things are in our blood, only a fool would deny that. Or, well, you failed to get the egg, so I guess we'll never know. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm gonna assume you're with the first one, right? Yeah. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Oh, so Have she's the outsider. Chased? She's the fucking Karen. They may have chased me away, but surely she's the fucking the Karen. Welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply. <laughs> what's what's wrong, Esther? You tried to go in, and they wouldn't let you back. see the manager. <laughs> I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. Damn. You'll be well compensated. Of oh, course. now you're Just being dis bring me an egg. First you're being racist, now you're being fucking disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, it's like she comes off as super racist without Lizelle. With Lizelle, the vibe is a bit different. <laughs> Because uh, every time she says something, Lizelle's just off to the side like, Oh, really now? And she's like, shut up, half-breed. It's like, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> I don't know where that, like, came from. I don't think that... No, nah, are they, like, pure alien? I actually don't know. I Maybe they... Eh, whatever, it's fine. There are options here. So it sounds like I'm in. Do you have any equipment worth trading? Uh, fine, buy one payment up front. My friend's right. Well, he suggests it's revolting and you need to die. Or I'm not getting involved in this. So, um, you can have her give you money and then you can just fuck off. And not do what she wants. You know what? <laughs> I should also mention, um, yeah, this character does have shit you might want to trade for. Yeah, it turns out we can just look at this without, like, messing up the dialogue thing. I should probably do this way more often, because sometimes people do have cool stuff. Because uh, she's got some scrolls. Freaking War Scythe. So that's pretty cool. Uh, magic staff, some, like, boots and stuff. So, like, gloves. So, um... Oh, hey, it costs less for you than it did for me. That's crazy. <laughs> so, this fucking armor... You, you might want this for Anderson. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So, what this does is it boosts your dexterity by two... If oh, you yeah. yeah, if you take this, then the next time you boost stats, you will max out your decks. Ooh, yes. This is really good. Uh, the issue is you're gonna have to sell some shit. Cause it's a lot, but yeah, it is doable. Actually, I don't know if we try and like get our money, it'd push us like pretty close to getting it. But what if we fail and make her mad? You know. And hey, your call. We can also Close. try and steal it from her, but it's a tough check. Mm. How do you want to do this? Well, there's probably a lot of crap we don't need in our inventory. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's definitely a lot of crap we don't need right now. Mm. Anderson's got like over a thousand gold just sitting in his pockets doing literally nothing. Yeah. Actually, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay, whatever. That's fine. That's all of it. Yeah, bless you. Uh, sorry. Uh, we got some pocket change here that's like, whatever, uh, 55 gold somewhere. And one of these frickin' bags, uh, it's probably one of these backpacks we've never opened. 
No supply pack. Now let's not let let's not sell our supplies. We might need those. Yeah. Patch our sack. Okay, there it is. Hey, you don't know, look through a fire resistance for anything. Well, I would be useful in case, like, we run to, like, a pyromancer or something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Burglar's pack, this is whatever, this is whatever. Okay, so time to start making decisions. Uh, which weapons do we want to just give away? Uh, I, don't, I don't think we really need the longsword at this point, right? Yeah, we don't need the box finger longsword. Yeah, these are kind of whatever. Uh, which of these, like... Which of these scrolls do you think we'd get rid of and be fine with? Actually, no, we've got a bunch of useless rings we can just give away. Yeah. I don't know if they'll be used for alchemy or anything, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Got some books and notes that mean nothing. Yeah. I'm assuming that, like, because there were crew because we're criminal, we might, like, be in the know of, like, we're crim like, with a criminal background, we might know where, like, some, like, like fences are so we can sell those rings off at better prices but I guess that's not a thing yeah not really unfortunately you just kind of have to like sell them where you sell them you know yeah I'll be though that would be kind of cool to, like where like you go up to certain sellers and, the, and like the mind player speaks something goes like oh yeah this guy uh, like oh yeah this guy is known to run a illegal fence, or if you speak to him, like you speak to him about, you might get better prices on certain things. On yeah, certain that'd things. be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, she wants one thousand seven hundred. We need like two hundred gold, two hundred and five. Uh. What chase things do you think we can get rid of? Um, I don't know. Do we need scroll of speak with dad? Well, does wait? Does any of our characters have speak with dad? I don't think we do. Not right now, at least. Yeah, yeah, we can maybe get rid of scroll that. Of, yeah, yeah. We we've got two anyway, so we can get rid of like one, and yeah, we'll think about the other. Scroll of Sleep, a uh, Scroll of Shocking Grasp is honestly, let's be real, this is kind of like whatever. It's yeah, like Aether, it's like a scroll of a specific cantrip, and it's like, okay, this is kind of like nothing. Same for Ray of Frost. Uh, I never use protection from good and evil. Yeah. Like, maybe it's good for something. I've never found a good use for it. Scroll of Mirror Image might be fun. Melf's Acid Arrow, maybe. Scroll of Grease, Scroll of Fog Cloud, Anode. Wyvern's Toxin, uh, Oil of Accuracy, Potion of Amels. Wait, we can just do Speak with Amel for free, can't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, this is nothing but, uh, screw it, it's free my Poison resistance. Okay, I will be right back. I'm uh, right Peter, back. What, what do you want to get rid of? We just need okay. Sandy Gold. Because, uh, we're, we're getting a bit down to the wire. We can get rid of the Sickle, that's worth something. Well, yeah, barely no. anything, but, I don't know, we, we have a flute. <laughs> <laughs> do we do like, like, yeah like will isn't even like in with the, like will doesn't even play the flute yeah, yeah we i get rid of that in the sickle do we just get rid of the r scroll of speak with dead yeah <laughs> 
Okay, we need 30 more. We're so close. Uh, do, do we want to sell Scroll of Shatter? Okay, you're going to have to figure out the rest of this on your own. I really got to go to the bathroom. All right, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I'll just do Scroll of Shatter. That's something we never really use. I'll just, uh, d d five. Yes. Cool. All right. This is all we really need, right? Yeah, I think this is like as exact as it can possibly get. Oh boy. So, hey, want to do payment up front, and now we can with zero consequences. But I do want to wait just in case, because what if it goes horribly and he, like, misses dialogue, it's like... You know, nah, fuck it. Yeah, because it goes straight. Alright, we're fine, yeah. Oh boy, do, do we use bark and yeah, yeah, in this situation, we probably should bark inspiration. So... Oh boy, I kinda want to prepare and go back before we roll. But yeah, this is really freaking... So we got like plus 5 to plus 13. If we get at least like, what, like a 16, we're good. 16 for like low and uh, what'd be for high? Like 3... No, wait, it'd be like 13? Wait, no, I'm, my math is so fucking wrong right now. Okay. Yeah, it'd be like 18 for... No, it'd be like 8 for high, yeah, because that'd be like, yeah, 20, well, yeah. 8 for like a high roll on all of these, and like a 16, I believe, for a low roll, yeah. So 8 to 16, at least, is, like, where our target range should be. And if we get lower than 8, we're just automatically fucked. So we've got roughly, like, I, th I feel like that's a pretty, like, nice, like, you know? Because it's, like, 10's average. So if it's, like, 8 below average or 6 above average, we're good, hopefully. And then we have to roll the other thing, and that hopefully, like, goes in our favor. And uh, that's that's probably a doable range for at least being able to, like, get a fair chance at it. At least have a chance to do this. But it's gonna suck either way, really. Okay, I have returned. No way, it'd be like six low average. Alright, yeah. Ready for this? I assume yes. you want to do, like, payment up front, right? Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, nine, that's maybe. Oh, just barely. <laughs> and fucking on. <laughs> Holy crap, that is ex- I'm glad I had Bark Inspiration, Jesus. I suppose there is a reason I'm asking yeah. you. Surrender an egg, and I will not stand for it. Very well. Here's the money. Now, I'm I like that Lazelle is specifically delivery. like, oh yeah, don't do this shit. And, but yeah, we just got 200 gold back. Yay. And but yeah, now... The, um, but yeah, the, um... Yeah? The, um, but yeah, now we can just fuck off with this money. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Now we don't have to do anything forever again. So yes. armor class goes down by one, but an exchange of, um, oh shit, our, look at our friggin' decks. Yeah, what were we on before? Like, pad armor? Yeah. I forgot our decks actually was at 18. Yeah, um, congrats, Peter. Your dex is now officially maxed the fuck out. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, your attack bonus goes up to, like, plus seven. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's just take a minute to just, like, savor how, like, stupidly good this is. Because, um, yeah. 
<laughs> Slav Hand is like plus nine right now, and Stealth is plus seven. We are so fucking sneaky. <laughs> if we want to, we could totally probably steal some shit from her and it'd just be fine. Yeah. Hey, your call. Oh yeah, I like this armor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but let's continue on to the, uh, to the thing that we, that Yeah, th this is some good-ass armor. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, if you don't like how it looks, we can always have custom underclothes and just switch to that instead. Maybe not. Oh, uh, are we strong enough for it? Oh, just barely. <laughs> you know, if we can ever find, like, the closest thing we can get to a nice business suit, maybe we will. Like, yeah. <laughs> maybe we will. I'm gonna just, be like, real. I don't think we're gonna find a business suit, but maybe we can get something close. Maybe we can get, like, some nice silk or something, you know? Yeah. Because, yeah, the aesthetic so, yeah. I am going for is, like, meant to be, like, mob boss kind of look. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, if their pathing isn't right, you will just leave your companions behind. They don't know to get on this thing. Although, it would also be kind of funny as if, um, longer. It'd be funny if, like, yeah, they try to get on it as it's moving and they just fall off the cliff. <laughs> I, I hate that your character is at the very bomb of the turn order thing now. Why? He should be at the top. <laughs> oh, boy. I guess our... Sp is this based on speed? Like, attack or based on speed? Uh, yeah, it's based on dexterity. So, yeah, you have a better initiative now, too. Anderson will be able to, like, move sooner in a fight, and you'll just be fine. Oh, hell yeah. And also, yay, the wave point. Yeah. So, um, this is also a really cool area, because there's just, like, there's just this entire freaking castle here, and it's just like, yeah, explore it. <clears throat> yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go do some like uh, let's go. Assuming the castle is abandoned. Yeah. yeah. We can go do some like, fucking like uh, castle plundering. Yeah, here's this whole freaking temple, this monastery. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the place where the fucking uh, yeah, where, uh, the cells people are. Oh, oh, you see something? Do you see it? Ooh. What do you see? Uh, look, look down, like, to the bomb right off the screen. Yeah, below the vines? In the little hole? Ooh. See it? I do not see it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you see the rock that we're on, it's like directly to the right. So it's like our character, it's like directly to, like, their left leg, the boot, it's like directly to the right of that along the whole, like, thing. <laughs> I do not see what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, we can see through a little hole in the wall and there's something sleeping on the floor below us. There's, Ooh, a, there, there's something. Yeah, there is something. There is something. Okay, let's let's bust this wall open. Actually, on so I thought maybe you should uh. Yeah. Oh, you can't actually. Oh. Well, well, time to take a few shots for this crap, then. Wow, we are doing... Oh, we are doing good damage to the door. 
<laughs> we're we're cat doing damage. We're we're getting there. It's just yeah. Yeah, these like boarded up like things on the wall. <clears throat> oh yeah, those are a lot of red dots. Better be careful with any magic. Oh hello. So um Grand fight some fucking rats? Yeah, sorry, Rat Two. Your time is fucking up, bitch. <laughs> your time's over, bitch. You survived the old lady with the double barreled shotgun. Oh the hey. Survived me. Oh hey, we have fine familiar Scratch now. We could just summon Scratch, whatever. Hmm. Where's our cunning actions? Aren't we like a rogue? Oh, there, there's hide. All right, yeah, we're too close for it. <laughs> well, we assassinate this fucking rat. Wow, we did a shitload of damage to it, yeah. Oh yeah, these these things are not that tough. Jump, yeah, jump back, Anderson. <laughs> yeah, Anderson, maybe don't uh, be there right now. I don't know if we actually have to even really, uh, y you know? Yeah. They're, they're, they're just not, y you know, they're, they're not. Yeah. Oh yeah, this thing's mostly dead already. Favors the fearless. Yeah. Oh right, we have Will. We could have just Eldritch blasted the door. I forgot he's like a warlock. Wow, Will, way a fucking miss, jeez. Holy, cr holy crap. Yeah, yo, maybe we should, uh... Oh, never mind, that's one down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one down, six to go. Oh, there, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of little guys. Yeah, I was like, hey, maybe Karlak doesn't have to. It's like, no, nah, Kar Karlak probably has to. So, hey, can we... Nah, not quite. We, we didn't all sign plain sight. Yeah, almost. Yep, that's a dead one. No rat down. No rat bites the rat. Another dust bites the dust. <laughs> Another dust bites the dust. Yeah, we the should probably, uh... Time to strike. Wow, really? Okay. Screw it, action surge. You ever seen the, uh... <laughs> Screw it, pommel strike. Wow, one damage. Awesome. No holding back. Sorry, did I RC what? I remember I stumbled across a meme where someone made a playlist called, uh, called, um, Marvin Gaye is Confused, where it is just, like, all of, like, his song titles that are questions. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like I think song... it's like, <clears throat> I think it's like, where am I from? <laughs> when did I stop yeah. loving you? When did you stop loving me? <laughs> Wasn't there? I, I, I saw. The yeah. Song. I forget what the third one is. I thought I saw one of those were like, oh, hey, we can use our reaction to impose disadvantage. Oh, hell yeah. They rolled a toy. Let's keep that from. Oh. Oh, we couldn't keep it from Hanger. Well, we tried. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, they are way more aggressive than I thought they'd be. Oh, shit. Can we? <laughs> Is all the fights we're gonna do just gonna end up with us just dying? Uh. No, we are we are killing them, but holy crap, they do a lot more than I thought they would. Well, yet again, a bunch of them will, like, taxi to the same fucking person. 
I'm going real a lot. This is probably because I underestimated them. This is my time. Okay, it's fine. Oh, uh, we we have a healing word, and we can just y you know. Okay, Carlac, survive for like one second. Oh, she is in action. Can I can you uh probably turn it to probably use wild form here? Oh wait, no, it's Will's action, right? Oh. Yeah, that that explains a lot actually. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, that's like what I about like um. I love it when people use like Spotify playlists to make memes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there one where I forget who it was, but it's like a uh, some singer discovering what rain is and being horrified by it. And it's like, <laughs> oh, what's this? Here comes the rain. And it's like, how do I make it the rain stop? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see if we can. Oh. Wow, they are really determined to just hit her. Holy crap. We are trying our best and we are not doing quite enough. I ain't for what's worth. Our team is doing exactly what it should. We just kind of need more defense on Carlac, it feels like. Yeah, Carlac, yeah. Carlac definitely needs a defense boost boost. Whatever. Use <laughs> a defense boost from something. Yeah. Cause uh jeez. Actually let's use Commander Strike. Let's get uh tactical with this. Oh wait, this uses both her action and the You know what that's fine. And we can gear two. Wait, yeah, no, this is fine. Actually, we should have used that on one of our rogues, actually. Eh, whatever, it's fine. Action search, no, okay. Alright, it's another one down. <clears throat> Wow, these are really getting unlucky. Holy crap. Yes, this is. Yeah, this is starting unlucky. Well, we can have to get close to take out the rest, but, uh, jeez. Victory awaits. Uh, hey, can you just, um. Yay. No, don't loot the rats. Help, help them. There, there we go. Yeah, help Carlac. God damn it. Carlac is dying. Well, well, well. Yeah, let's kill short rest. Oh, yeah. Uh, is there a way we can, like... Because she has, like, our defense, right? Just casually... Yeah. yeah, we should probably actually, um, healing word and just, uh, live, please. Okay. No one stopped me yet. So, we can steal the tails from all these rats. Why would you do that? We can use them to make a potion that hurts mages. That's interesting, but <laughs> no, nah. do it. <laughs> That's fair. Also, I don't know if you've noticed this map, but um, there are a lot of red dots directly below us. Yeah, there's <laughs> something tells me there's just a fucking lot of rats in this place. <laughs> Fuck a little freaking rats just right down there. 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, right, forgot. Yeah, we have a thief. We can just lockpick things. Yeah, that's very true. I don't fight to be flattered, Laser. I fight to save lives. Oh, and we have advantage. Oh, just effortless. <laughs> yeah, fucking effortless. Plus God, five, man. plus two, plus two, plus three. <laughs> yeah, we fucking wrecked that shit. I want to point out we rolled a fucking 30 total. Oh, hey, skeletons. <laughs> Ooh, what are you carrying? Ooh, and a chest. Scroll of fire shield, scroll of gaseous form, scroll of shocking grasp. Cool, more stuff to sell. Where is we get the Yankee sign in the region? The Dawn Masters Inner Circle think we don't know, but it's all anyone can talk about. What they want, can they be after the blood self? How would they even have found out that? Personally, I'm excited. If there's really a Githyanki attack, there's a chance they'll fire the lance. To see the lab, the lab there itself launched forth from Raven's Ruth, that would be something to write home about. Brother Welland claims he saw it once, and it was so bright nearly made him blind. Luckily, he says, it's quite hard to fire, but once we do, those Githyanki won't know what hit them. So, uh, yeah, they mentioned this was, like, an actual monastery for monks. Yeah, the monks fought back. They had a freaking battle here. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, tongs. So, um, here's the thing about this place. Uh, you just noticed that it's, like, there's a bunch of magic scrolls just right there. Yeah, that's very true. The, these guys were very magical. They were very proficient mages. Cure for, new a cure for growing new scales. After embalming the errant potion, I had one of the magpies brag about a beautiful platinum scale it found. The skill itself is one of the most powerful objects I've ever seen. Suspect it might have come from the god behind itself. If only I could harness its powers. I'm sure I too might so be covered once again. This time, even platinum. Well, here's the recipe that brought all this on. So he talked to a bird, and the bird was like, Hey, here's where some cool shit is. And he's like, Awesome, I can become a dragon. And he became a furry. <laughs> and yeah, now we know how to make a potion of speak with animal that we don't need. Yeah. Because we just do that as like a bullet action. Oh, y'all, so these things can be lockpicked. Yeah, do, do we even need anything to help us? Oh wow, just just barely. Yeah, Off of like a four. That. Yeah. Oh, we don't have that many thieves tools though. Uh roll oh, again or yeah, just yeah. like use the thieves tools or just like let this be. Oh, let's roll one more time here. Yeah, we should have just put guidance and not be overconfident. Oh, yeah, we succeeded. So, uh, this is a scroll of dark vision. All of these things just have scrolls in them. Yeah. Ugling Tom opens with a strand pale of Dawnmaster Vasade, riding into battle against an army of shaman clerics. In his raised hand, his trusted Valax, its sharp edge glinting in Lavender's light. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a nest. Yeah, we just see what's behind all of these. Elixir of Necroc Resistance. Uh, yeah, if any of these things seem like things you want to take, just say the word, you know? Yeah. So, there's a shitload of rats underneath us. Yeah, shitload of something. something yeah. We can break through this thing. 
action, not reaction. Okay, almost. Thanks, Lazelle. Oh, nothing? Okay. Yeah, nothing? Okay. <laughs> They're making rules for something, but we're not getting it. Yeah. So, uh, ooh, glowing door. We've got glowing door and we've got whatever's over there. Glowing door, glowing thing. Um, let's go see what's in the door to our left. Okay. This that looks might like be Dawn Master for Said. Mm. The monastery's notable keepers. Mm. Ooh, I don't think I checked this before. Sandwich marked Dawn Master Seed. Look at Dawn Master Stockhold in the glass. Inspect the gl broken stained glass window. Or take a look at Dawn Master Vulcan Glory. Uh, um, let's, yeah, let's investigate the shattered part of the window. Dawn Master Vasaid yeah. wielding the rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Huh. Yeah. Want to keep examining this or just, you know... Now let's keep examining this. The reconsecration of the monastery conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Even song before the Zenith yeah. Day, okay. celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Even tieflings, huh? Dawnmaster yeah. Welking Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lavanda's name. Huh. So um, I get the impression if we jump on this, we'll probably go down. You want to try it? Um, let's explore more around here. Wait a second. Before we break that window and find ceremonial log end. sword. Ooh. Oh, the weapon stopped glowing. How old? Interesting. Wait, if we put a different plaque, will it make the That's thing glow? Curious. Don't keep me out. Oh, it seems like there's a... Oh, we can like... Mmm. You wanna try this? Yeah, let's see what we got. Let's see what happens. We need a roll of 30. You think we could do it? Yeah, I think we got this. If we actually... Oh my god, we're actually gonna do this. Oh, so close! Oh damn. You wanna keep trying? You, th you think we got this? Yeah, I think we can get this, yeah. I, there's There are no other bosses we can. We just have to... Oh, I don't think this is enough. Yeah, it's like 25. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, one, keep going. Good. You're gonna be using Thieves tools for this now. Uh, no, it's not. This is a hard roll. Yeah. So, if I wonder, what if... We just acquired a ceremonial longsword? And we can move this 
to be like on the plaque. Wait, what? W why? What? what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? I I don't know. I tried to place it very very <laughs> gently. Anderson, you clumsy motherfucker. What the fuck? What is hurting us? We're trying to put the sword up there. It's just bouncing back. Fine. What if we just throw it up there? Are you serious? Wow, it just refuses. Damn, okay. Okay, then fine. Screw you. We're moving it, though, which makes it worse. Okay, is, what if we pawed this one? Okay, that one works. Yeah. And what if we throw it over to this one? Okay, yeah, it just... Each... Alright, so I, I think I get the gimmick. Yeah. So, um, each of these weapons belongs to a specific guy. If we can find all the weapons and put them in their proper places, then I think the door will open. But if we put them in the wrong place, it bounces back and fucks us over. Okay, so we gotta go find these weapons. Yeah. Uh, we can keep going. It might not be bad to take, like, a long rest, but it's up to you. Yeah, let's take a long rest, because I assume we're probably not to run in... Because I assume um, some of those weapons are probably in the basement. Yeah, this is a bit of a dangerous place to be. <sighs> mm -hmm. Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. Oh... Oh, no. My engine. It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> I need to find a mechanic. A good one. Well, this thing's going boom. Yeah, Carlac's heart is going to fucking explode if we don't fix her. <laughs> yeah. Well, half if we can't tune you up in time, you're tough that then your chest will overpower you? Or do you think you're a danger to the rest of us? As I say, I don't think that that, that, that thing will overpower you. <laughs> Tell that to the inferno where my heart was, soldier. Actually, don't. I don't want to piss it off. Damn. Yeah, maybe we should maybe we should do Carlac's quest at some point. Here's it's, the thing: is it possible to clear it within this area? Not in this area, but yeah, you can't like totally like make progress on it right now. Oh, yeah. you're just you have your val. Why are you in a flying stance right now? The yeah, what are you in a flying stance? Our cure is close. Cool. Yo, much out mind players. Mm. Or just leave. Yeah, let's just let her be. Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah. Not anything going on right now. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> now we know food doesn't go wrong. We can just do whatever. We can just make sure, you know? Scratch! The dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. Oh, you want to take the bag? Yeah, I'll take the bag. How, how do we want to do this? Oh, we just slap hand this easily. Oh, yeah, so overkill. Oh, just instantly, huh? 
Yeah. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. We got a bone. This does literally nothing, but you know what? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. It was a good boy. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny when you get like 30 hours in and Scratch is like, here, have a thing. And he casually just gives you like the most plot relevant item ever. <laughs> Everyone just looks at him just like, where the crap did you even find this? <laughs> So, I think it might be time for us to venture into the unknown. And that is the downstairs area of this place. Okay, <laughs> how do we get downstairs? Well, I don't want to break the fucking stained glass window. I don't want to break that. Now that I know it's a puzzle, I don't know if we can break it. It might just, you know, like, not work out. I mean, there's always the most direct approach, but I feel like you don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, let's try to see if we can find, like, a staircase or something down. Uh, here's where the magic door is. Yeah, well, these skeletons do have good stuff on them. Oh, hey, Rusty Short Sword. Oh, heck yeah, we got ourselves a second knife. Ho, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Th there it goes, yeah. So, rusty weapons are fun because they're literally just like normal da weapons, but they do an extra like 1d4 damage or something. Actually, no, not even that. Okay, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just wrong. Yeah. Maybe it's because I was playing a spore like Druid and I was just adding that in by default. Yeah, that seems likely, actually. Because it's just like, oh, weapon damage plus effect damage. And it's like, okay. Okay. We have to fire the lance. Looking statues are never a good sign. <laughs> so the statue just gave us a pretty hard warning. I think. Yeah. It did something. Yeah, it definitely warned us about something. It's probably honestly talk about the day of the invasion. Yeah. Eager for battle. Hey, Lizelle, can you just, y you know. That might be worth a look. Y yeah, I know, I'm hanging. Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh, yeah, there's just an enchanted door up there. Don't worry about it. So where the crap are all these rats at? Within the artifact a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Oh. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. So, uh... They're hunting you. They want the artifact. So Yeltsov here's... had nothing to take it from you. Okay, you done? So, um, any yeah. thoughts about that? Hmm. Well, the thing is, though, we want to solve that puzzle, is the thing. Yeah. Ooh, purple fluoride shard. That's probably worth something. Yeah. So here's my thoughts when I first heard that. Um, <laughs> That's your inner voice. Your inner voice is literally telling you information your character shouldn't know. Yeah, that's very, very true. 
<laughs> like, this is the point where I'm like, wait, is, is the Guardian just your inner voice? And she's been, like, telling you shit all along, like, whispering in your ears? Because that's a bit unnerving. So, hey, want to go to the basement? Yeah, let's head in there. All right. I'm saving because I know what happens. <laughs> I don't know how fuck this gets. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, the, this is the crash. This, this is Lizelle's people. Oh. How, how do you want to handle this? Your diplomacy? Yeah, diplomacy. Yep. Sentries to arms! Mystic, state your purpose quickly. Stand down, Gish. Is it not Vlakid's command to welcome her faithful? Oh, damn. I expected no visitors, faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? <laughs> you want to just let Lizelle handle this? We didn't tell yeah, them we're we infected. Probably... We could, like, yeah. Um, yeah, let's try to see how they react to us, like, telling them, like, oh, yeah, we have a mind flare. <laughs> yeah. You are infected. A geek thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with. The faithful may be purified. This is Vlakid's protocol. <laughs> oh, Lizelle's our oh. side. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once, and step carefully. Crescia like watches you. Oh, okay. Well, that went better than my version did. Yeah, in my playthrough, I tried to reason with them, failed, and I had to kill everyone. This is a recurring theme of my exploration of this area. <laughs> Heard they're making us join the patrol yeah, your, your, your playthrough just sounds like it's going to extremely to shit. <laughs> yeah, I end up parents. killing every single person in this place and then some. <laughs> like, I killed everyone except for the egg, and I just left it where it was and went back and killed the Karen because fuck her. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're seeing Ab World. Oh, uh. Ooh. Ah, oh, that's fun. <laughs> so, hey, we've got a classroom. We've got, a. Uh, we got a few places we can go here. Ah, which direction you want to go? Let's go to the right. To the right? Okay. Wait, yeah. right on the map or right for your character? Um, yeah, we can see you're going this way. Okay, yeah. Uh, we, we found the hatchery. I'd expect to see 15 eggs at the oh, very least. <laughs> well, uh, you want to talk your way through this or you want to just leave the egg? Yeah, let's just leave the egg be. Fuck that, fuck that woman who wants it. Yeah, okay, so you want to go right, right? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, hey, what you want to talk I'm about? Thoughts. Perhaps an inquisitivistic woodmaker could practice dummy. Cool. Good, good to know racism. Fine. Yay, now we have a fast travel point here. Yay. Yeah, now I can just teleport here, whatever. An istic allowed to soil our holes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, north or south? Let's head north. Okay, yeah. Cause that would just be like, oh yeah, this I'll like, give you a choice when I can. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Try. I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. 
They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight. Chitrai. We They're ready to take on Moonrise. From the tower's ashes, if you would give us. Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Oh, yes, I didn't get this scene. You heard him. Go. I guess we just got here fast enough. Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. <laughs> for now. Oh, she's in a bit of a tenuous political position. Ooh. Okay, let's let's shut those doors. I didn't hit anything. <laughs> so, uh, hey, yeah, about that. An istic in my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The istic is with me, honored Kithrak. Yeah, so you, you ought to take this as all. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. <laughs> Just straight up, huh? Yeah, what weapon? Yeah. Think I have what you're looking for? I was grand entry by your sentries. They told me to seek you. I need a description of the weapon. I told I was told to seek your infirmary. There's a mind flare invasion in progress. Why aren't you doing anything? Or yeah, I have the weapon. Wanna see your blood on it? I've got a weapon you can weird. see. Let's go with like the infirmary option. Yeah. Does this look like an infirmary? I mean, yeah, that's fair. So you want to ask about the infirmary or ask about the weapon? Uh, what is the weapon she wants? What, what is, is the weapon she's after? Angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script, stolen by true soul heretics. You realize she seeks the artifact you Oh have. yeah, it's the D20 that, that saved us. You know something. Do you have it? I do not. Yeah, let's uh, let's lie. Yeah. Uh, do we bark inspiration on this? Do we use the point? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. Yeah. Oh, we did not need it. <laughs> Oh, we can lie all day. Holy then crap. Stop wasting my time, Istic. You are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? I'm not. Yeah, nah, not exactly. I'm here to loot the place. What's the reward again? Or I'll be back on the search immediately. I, I think uh, saying you're back on the search is the most, like, yeah, m most, like, passive, like, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd probably be the best. I have business to yeah. attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. Okay, but there's a big glowy gate. How'd you, like, how am I supposed to get through that? What's on the other well, side, yeah, though? Good. So I imagine the rest of the weapons we're looking for are probably located within the upper floor of the monastery. <laughs> yeah, this is very unrelated to that side quest right now. Yeah, like, like, it's cool that we have this place. Yeah. And we can explore it, but, um... You want to go to the infirmary? Um... I say we, yeah, we go to the infirmary, see what's up there. But then what I say we return to the upper floor and go hunt down the other two swords we're gonna need for the, sure. for, the uh, for that magic door. Oh, hey, they're using mage hand. 
Wow, it sounds like there's something in that box. Oh boy. Anyways. <laughs> A parasite brimming with magic. Take it. Yeah, now we know that that voice is the guardian. Um, yeah. It might be useful. She really wants us to use the parasites, huh? Vertical incision from Pinea. But here's the thing, I don't want to, so Yeah. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples two three one to two five nine. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? Yeah, you're a doctor, right? I am a child of gift, not yeah. discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. Oh boy. Prefer let life spells be going by half where you're hoping to learn from dissecting that thing? Is that thing's host still alive, or I've got a tadpole that needs removing? Yeah, I have a tadpole that needs removing. You must be desperate. To seek my aid. Extremely. How long have you been infected? Yeah. Uh, a few days. I stopped counting my ram fingers. Longer than you'd expect. And too long. Yeah, it's longer you expect for seromorphosis to take place. Too long. As you wish. Yeah. Go to the safest. I will ensure you. <laughs> yeah, the Zathisk is, or what will the Zathisk do? You have my thanks, or maybe not. Yeah, what will the Zathisk do? It will relieve you of the specimen lodged in your cerebral cortex. What else? It will be worth it, I assure you. Even if Yankee rarely experiences Zathisk, you are very lucky, is Dick. Oh yeah, let's let's get in the Zathisk. <laughs> you up for this, Peter? Does this seem okay? You know what? What's the worst that could happen? Well, what is the worst that could happen? Unironically, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The yeah. Black its purity distilled. My duty. Yeah, you want Lizelle to go first, or do you want to go first? Or do you want to, like, examine the thing? Let's let Lizelle go first. Praise Blackith. Let it be done. Okay, Lizelle, Is here's hoping. Child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. I don't know what happens if you do this. I just sat at it myself, and everyone was like, Are you sure about this? This seems really dangerous. <laughs> We've known Lizelle for less than like two days, and she's already months. getting into a mysterious, it's like, skull shaped it's machine. It's oh, it's, it's going. Oh, you're connected to her. Psionic forces batter Lazel's oh boy. There is no chance she will survive this unscathed. Yes, child. Speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. Yeah. Speak the Talakit. Yes. This purification. Is this the cure? Uh, what? Get out of there, you won't survive this anguish. Call on your parasite, show Lizelle what she stands to lose. Plead with the doctor that Lizelle's in pain. Endure Lizelle, the pain's worth the torment. Or do you just want to, like, watch and wait? Do you just want to let this play out? Um. 
Uh, yeah, let's tell the doctor about the trouble this all is in. Yeah, it's, it's killing her. I think. The safe disc is working as intended. You sure this is not supposed to work? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there. Call the parasite. The cure is worth the torment or wait and watch. How do you want to play this, Peter? What are the options? Get out of there, you won't survive this anguish. Call in your parasite, show Lizelle what she stands to lose. Endure it, the cure's worth it, or win and watch. So we can, like... We can try and convince her to, like, leave. We can get her to focus on the parasite. Uh, we can tell her to, yeah. like, stick with it, or we can just see what happens. Let's go with option three. Alright. Yeah, you can do it, Lizelle. So Lizelle's contacting God right now. Oh boy. <laughs> Seek answers within the Zathus. It was the vision. You must listen. The device is changing. You're, you're becoming a lithid, and we lie to her to get her out. <laughs> Keep focused. The cure is close, or just let this play out. Keep focused. The, the, the question is close. The, the cure is closed. You can do it, Lizelle. Relieve me, Flacken. I. Yes, child. Face her will. Your marrow quakes within your bones. Behind the pain and new sensation. <laughs> oh shit. Just straight up, like, your tadpoles changing, girl, and you have to resist the machine. Focus your mind, try to reload the device. Pursue the position you saw, see where they lead. Draw on the Zathic's power, take it as your own. You can make your own parasite stronger. Embrace the pain, Lizelle, be pure. Or just, yeah, you'll just go through it. You'll just be like, hey, Lizelle, just, yo, know, you got this. You can do it. Yeah. How do you want? You can do it. You can do this. She's gonna fucking love you after this. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> and yet she lives, and so does her parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. So uh, that seems like it's probably a bad thing. Yeah, we can lie and be like the parasite's dead. Or we'd be like the freaking Zaith tried to kill Azel. And be like, yeah, the parasite saved her fucking life. Yeah. How do you all play this? 
Um, let's see. The machine almost killed Lizelle. The Zathisk does not fail. It, it just the did. The variable in this experience was you and your parasite. And I will uncover how this happened. Wait here. I will gather my tools. So, Peter, what do you want to do? Exactly. I must be cleansed. That was too close. You want to talk to Lizelle? You want to, like, leave? Um, let's speak to Lizelle. I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zathis might have killed me. The gods still tampered with it. Traitor. And there may be more still. This must be why the Inquisitors uh, come. Oh, excuse me. Oh, boy. Are, are you yeah. sure it's her fault? Uh, our chair is so common among the Gith. Have a thank you, I just saved your life. Or you're so close to a cure if only you'd held on longer. Are you sure it was her fault? Yeah. Vlakith does not abandon Githyanki. The Zathisk was tampered with. There is no other explanation. They're very sure no, the Zathisk was gonna do the, to the thing. And inform him of the doctor's sedition. Yeah. yeah, do we want to tell them the doctor's a traitor? Well, can we investigate the safe disk? Yeah, we sure can. Uh, it has exploded. But whatever semblance of life once powered the safe disk, it's gone. It's fuck. It's fucking dead. It's it's dead. Because I was wondering if we could find like maybe something they used for like to rig the thing so it would explode. I'm gonna be real, I don't think it was rigged. I, I, I think it's just like, it's just the Parasite special, and it's like, hey, th it tried to remove it by any means possible, and it was gonna fucking blow up her head. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, most certainly. So but, what's um, the plan? Yeah. I say we go report the doctor. Sure. Oh, hey, the door's locked. What? What There's do you do? The door. Lock, pick the door. Yeah. <laughs> Lock door. That's not gonna stop me because I can't read. Oh, hello. Oh shit. So I remember when it's like she's gonna get this by any means possible? I'm pretty sure this is what they meant by any means possible. Well, shit. Uh, so who who do we take out first? Um, here's the fun thing. I don't know who's the strongest out of everybody here. Uh, we've got some, like, weaker fighters. We have a full-on knight. We have a ranger. We got, like... Doctor's in the back, and she's like a mage. Yeah, we should probably just take off the, like, the, like, the fighters and stuff. Okay, yeah. Hey, Ooh. Wolf, we just, um... Damn near a one-shot kill. We just... <laughs> That was damn near a one-shot kill. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. Yeah. And now they don't know where we were. <laughs> yes. It's, it's probably good not to let them just go. open fire through the fucking door. <laughs> Oh, hey, attack of opportunity. Come out, coward. Oh, they have no idea where you are right now. They are extremely confused. 
So, hmm. Yeah, you can probably take her out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I here's why I'm thinking. Oh, uh, we have a narrow passageway. I say we guard the fuck out of it. Oh hell yeah, we could keep funneling them through this goddamn room, pretty much. We pretty much have a tactical advantage. Yeah, we guard the fuck out of it, and we will close it so they can't, you know, they can't, like, yeah. misty stuff, because they will have line of sight. Yeah. We have enough movement to hit them with, like, the main weapon, but... We can, uh... Actually, what we can do, we can just use the freaking... Yeah, we can just get Lizelle to do another attack. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Or, sorry, Carlac, yeah. Yeah. No holding back. And we'll just, uh, you know... <laughs> just close the door. We, we got this. What? Okay, they cast Kara spell through the door. That's a bullcrap. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, that's actually kind of bad. So when you're paralyzed, all hits are critical because you can't dodge. Yeah. Oh, hey, that thing the kids were fucking with. They're stuck trying to kill the rat. Main to hand <laughs> attack on Carlac. Keep them from hitting. Heck yeah, let's go. Yeah, we can just stab. Yeah. What you bitch. That's like all all her health in one go. Yeah, you coming in here was a stupid fucking idea. <laughs> Welcome to our world now. <laughs> oh, he's trying to move. Okay, well, time for this to pay off. Wild shape wolf, let's go. There we go, yeah, bite. Can we use our reaction to do thing? No, okay. Noted. What? Well, no. She she's right there. Yeah. Just just take her out, man. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, that's oh, a bit of a there problem. Goes our door. Oh heck yeah! Auto counter. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, this is starting to get kind of bad. Oh, hey, she's a healer. Let's not waste cutting words on saving the rat. Oh, shit, it killed her. <laughs> hey, thank you, rat. <laughs> this party's good crazy. <laughs> There we go, easy. So if we survive this, we're all gonna be level five. That's great. <laughs> uh, 
Well, we got Vantage. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> Crap, not to kill though. Uh, yeah, we'll just regain our health. Why not? Swift and lethal. Let's see, Twy, you're at like six. Uh, yeah, this seems kind of worth it, actually. Damn it, that was not kind of worth it, actually. Oh no. Well then. Uh, well, maybe you can just, you know, oh, rise poisoned. That still managed to hit. That's better than nothing. <laughs> Crap, they're gonna come in. There's no way to stop it. Thank goodness we have second wind. Yeah. Oh hey, we also have action surge. Dude, yeah. Yeah, th this should kill. <laughs> Damn it, really? 70% chance, huh? We really need to get right next to Karlak right now. Um, this is not amazing. Oh, we took a shitload yeah. of damage. Oh, God. Yeah, we should stop that from being a critical hit, if nothing else. Yeah. Oh, there's the rat still alive. Yeah, well, so much for the rat. Yeah. It's a rat. If only we had another bonus action and we could, like, sneak away and do shit. Turns yeah. too close. And we're poisoned. Awesome. Oh, boy. Hey, how much does this do to a 12? Okay, cool. This seems like the time to bust this out. And uh, we can disengage and try and get a bit away from here. Have to keep yeah. going. This is gonna be a rough one, but it's doable. Yeah. We just need to get to Will, and we can start like wrecking dudes. Oh, you're at, like 16. We can just take you out like right now. Yeah. Get some health back, just kill. Yeah. Almost. It's so close. It's so close. Yeah, we're close. On the victor's path. Crap, we should really save Lazelle. Yeah. yeah, she is about to fucking die. Oh, do we want to cure wounds or healing word? Um, let's use healing word here. Okay, yeah, just stay away. Yeah. Wait, why is he like... No, there we go, yeah. D don't move all the way over to the forget... Yeah. Yeah, don't move all the way in there because we don't need you to die. Oh, you're so close to dying. Holy crap, we literally just snipe you, like, right now. Coming through. Yeah. Swift and lethal. If only we had action surge. Oh, we have pommel strike. That might do it. Damn it. Well, it was worth a try. Oh, we may have missed. Let's go. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, Anderson's not doing too great, though. 
Oh, yeah. we did get free damage though. <laughs> yeah, we are um we are holding on but not super well. Yeah, we need to uh, get out of here and fucking ego. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. Yeah. Uh crap, we would totally take that guy out like right now. Screw it, let's just do it. Yeah. 25 freaking cheese. One day I'll catch a break. Well, at least Carlax living. Carlax doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah we, we have another Lunar it. Mint to go. We are got these guys for sure. Yeah, we need to get the, uh, yeah, we need to get, um, like, Car we need to kill everyone here so we can get Carlac and Glissal into the main room here. <laughs> Lunar Mint, let's go! Did that... Wow, that did, like, nothing. Yeah, that fuck all, it feels like. Okay, at least... Yeah, let's approach from this side, actually, so we can keep the other guy from, uh, yeah. yeah. Main hand attack, uh... Sword comes in anticipates and ready to sing or shriek. I don't know what that does, but sure. Feigning attack. Boss action, turn the turret's attack with advantage of boss. Edward, just mean weapon attack. Yeah. The blade will not bend. Yeah, just just keep them the fuck busy for a second. Yeah. Uh yeah, Lizelle, you really fucking need this. Well, Lizelle yeah. or Anderson? Because Anderson uh, is, uh... Ooh. Give it to Anderson. Yeah, that's fair. <sighs> this is one to ten, this is two... Yeah, okay, Eldritch Blast. Eldritch gun, and we can, like, run right next to her, so she has to deal with us. Yeah. Well, she is dealing with us, if nothing else. Yep. Good miss, okay. Cool. Oh, no one's looking at you, you know what that means. You know what, I think they've got this handled. I, I'm more worried about Will right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, that's a ton of damage. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, they finally knocked her off wild shape. Oh, that's good. Hey, we could wild shape again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lo load it. Okay, yep. Let's go bite! <laughs> Make sure we're in their way, heck yeah. Bang attack, uh... Attack target with advantage and boss damage. Oh, we could try and take them out and do big damage. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, why not? That did a lot. And yeah, she's in range to be healed, I think. Yeah, man, Wilson's such a good spot right now. Holy crap. He's just doing everything. Like, we're struggling, but we're making it work, you know? We're getting through it. Yeah. 
99% chance, Jesus. And she's done. That's one less thing to deal with. Yeah, is this the only guy that's left? Yeah, this, uh... This became a freaking slaughter real fast. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> hey, so, uh, here's the thing about these guys. Get the Yankee crossbow. Proficiency with weapon type unlocks, like, duh, duh, yeah. Ooh. It is a good ass crossbow. Fuck yeah, let's take it. Infirmary room, give Yankee short sword. Just straight up weapon enhancement. Oh hell yeah, that'd be really good. The hung amulet, uh, wearing the- give Yonki wearing this amulet's advantage on intelligence saving throws. Here's the thing, though. The fact that she was, um, yeah, resistant to slashing probably helped a ton. I feel like that was, oh, like, yeah. a huge <laughs> boon immediately. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, it fucking was. Get the Yonki longsword. Yeah, just straight off. It's just a good ass longsword. Ring of Elemental Infusion. When you deal acid, cold, fire, light, near thunder damage, the element infused into your weapon. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean much to us, but yeah, that's a good thing. These guys have whatever. These guys are just like trainees. Uh, you've got a bunch of food on you. Awesome. And we are now over encumbered. But you know what we can do? Uh, now we have someone really strong in the party. Just, yeah, let's just take some shit and put on Lizelle. Yeah. Ooh, man. I think we. Honestly, yeah. And like after we do this, we should probably call the stream. Uh, like, do you? Fall asleep. Oh, do you want to like level up first? Yeah, let's go through the leveling up process first. For... Yeah. I'm curious. Is this like because the flayer Alf is a cool sword, but we just got a gith sword. So is this? Yeah. It is just straight up stronger. Seemingly. Yeah. But yeah, it does seem good. It's something we should point if we take. Or twelve. Oh, never mind. This is like, uh, yeah. Oh, it's about the same, actually. You know, it's fine. Yeah. But this does mean we can just give the other weapon what to Anderson, who I keep forgetting has the mobile feet, so we could just do that, and we could just sword That's sneak it. dudes. <laughs> And yeah, let's let's do some levels real quick. So we now have uncanny dodge. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, if like something's good, do like a deck save, we're better at it. Ooh, hell yeah. We just jump out of the way. We are fast. So do we want to boost Barbarian or Druid for Lizelle? Uh, let's... Hmm. What do we get if we level up Barbarian? Uh, we get a Barbarian Archetype, which can be really useful. We also get in our rage charge, which is really cool. And if we love, love Druid, um... Yeah, I just, we just get more spells. 
We unlock um, level 2 I... spell slots and we can do spells. I say we level up Barbarians. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Dru Druid seems like it's kind of like where it needs to be right now. Yeah. So I've never messed around with Barbarian in this game, so let's see. Uh... So yeah, we can rage and it'll do a random effect. Let's see, uh, follow path of un untrammeled fury, slick with blood as you throw in the chaos of Val, healing your own well-beings. Right, this is the one that sucked in the main game, in like D&D, &D, and maybe they made it better. So we get frenzied strike and enraged throw. You also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. We get resistance to all types of physical damage and advantage on strength checks and saves. Okay. So it's just rage, but better. Rage ends early if we don't take damage. Yeah, is there no... D okay, so here's the thing. In the, like, normal game, um, when you, like, go into Frenzy Rage, afterwards you take a poem of Exhaustion, and it's not worth it. But Exhaustion's not a thing, so this is just a free upgrade. Explosive action may immediately attack with your equipped weapon. Will cause a stack of Frenzied Strain on the- Oh, this is how they do it. Uh, so you, like, no. you hit people harder, seemingly. But in exchange, you, like, get stacks, and they can, like, add up. Or you can get yeah, Wild Heart. Gonna... Yeah. I think, honestly, I think we should probably take Wild Magic, because I think having... Because I think, like, the, the random effect, if we rage, might be really... could be useful. Yeah. Where you saw the magic yeah. rolling in Sav, you create a random magical effect. Ooh. Oh, also we have Branding Smite now. Ooh. Just as like a free action once per short rest. We could just do it. We could probably just smite as Doggo, which is really crazy. So I'm just gonna assume like more Bard. Yeah, more Bard stuff, yeah. Uh, we got some skills we can pick. I'm just gonna speed through this. Uh... You know, light might be useful at some point. Yeah. And we can get a new spell, so, um... We can turn visible. Oh, we can get Cloud of Daggers. That's immediately fucking amazing. Ooh, yeah, let's get that. <laughs> yeah, so you just... You create an area. There are daggers now. It deals damage. And if your opponent starts their turn there, they take more damage. So if you just lock them down, or if you have someone who can keep, like, pushing them in there, then, um, yeah, that adds up a lot. Also, it's just a good spell in general. Yeah, that would be a good spell just to have. Uh, anything we want to, like, remove, anything we want to, like, you know... Um, what would be the recommend spell you would get rid of? I, I don't think we use Thunder Wave that much. Thunder Wave and Charm yeah. Person. Yeah. Um. I, let's get rid of Thunder Wave. Yeah. yeah, and we can replace that with um all kinds of shit, actually. Yeah. Invisibility might be pretty fun. Featherfall also might be very situationally useful, but also very, very useful. Knock. So this is um anything that's locked that's not magical, yeah, we can just force open. We don't need to make a freaking lockpick check. We can just, we got it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, why not? And uh, we can choose a feat for him. Ooh, what feat would you recommend for a bard? I'm gonna be real, um, I think I'd recommend, like, boosting his stats. But then okay. again, yeah, he could use more health, maybe? Mm. Ritual caster could go as something mm. fun, uh, savage attack, like, sentinel is kinda useless, actually, right now. Yeah. 
Lucky is always What's really mean? nice. Yeah. <laughs> we can get him to dual wield swords, but then we won't use the boss action for, you know. Yeah, that's true. I mean, which one of these increases his health, though? Uh, that's just ability score, boss. We can just, you know, get that and get to... Wait, the one that just gives you a bunch of health? Yeah, that's tough. So, hit point maximum increases think... by two for each level. We just, we make him tanky. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's, uh... Yeah, Heck let's yeah. Get so much health, yeah. Uh... Or we could get Spell Sniper and we just make it so his Eldritch Blasts take, like, it can get a crit on 19. That's good. But is it better but than here's... more health? Um, you know what, I would rather just take the health. Okay, the yeah. yeah. Hit point maximum, go up, let's go. <sighs> there you go. And finally, Lizelle, who's gonna be very simple, cause um, yeah, you could just attack twice now. That that's <laughs> it. <laughs> you can just swing an extra time. Oh, you also just casual misty stuff because gif, cause gif get all the cool <laughs> shit. Yeah, that is really cool. <laughs> so, um, Will just casually became, like, probably the second tankiest member of the team right now. <laughs> For good 48 health. Have to do. Yeah, you want just, like, long rest, or you want, you know... Yeah, let's, um, long... Yeah, let's, uh, end in the camp and we'll long rest at the start of the next episode. Yeah. Yeah, might as well just long rest now and then save, you know, so we can just starve on, like, the new thing. But yeah, that's very true. Unless Lizelle's got something to say, I, I think this is just sort of like, you know? Yeah, I, uh, uh, let's go see if Lizelle has anything new to say. Uh, yeah, no, she's like, over up here? Yes. Hey, hey, Lizelle, what's on your mind after all that? The Inquisitor at the crash. The Zathisk's failure must be reported. Damn. Okay, we'll go report them. Hatcher with a single leg. How much does a clutch usually contain? Or like, the training room was illuminating, or Gith Instructor is always so brutal? Or do you just want to like, leave, yeah? Yeah, let's just leave. Yeah, we'll report. Yeah, we'll report this failure to them later on here. <laughs> I will point out that um maybe for a group that's super paranoid about people becoming mind flares, it might not be the best idea to walk up and be like, "Your machine failed. I'm going to become a mind flare." Yeah, that's not the <laughs> thing to say. So if we can, we should probably dodge around that. Yeah, we should, we should probably be careful yeah. on how we handle this. Uh, but yeah. A file thoughts, or you want just in the stream? So, yeah, next time we should, we'll probably, maybe, hopefully, we'll be able to report this dodging around the fact that, like, oh yeah, we're gonna become a mind flare. <laughs> <laughs> next time we talk to the Gith commander, and, um, we'll see what the fuck happens. See you guys yeah. around. Bye and R. Later.